Let's go in and see what everything is about here in Horror Park. And holy smokes, it is crowded here. A look at the general when you look at the general aesthetic of the place it looks really cool as we can get down here at just about crowd level and my god like like this is insane Like, I don't know if I've seen Halloween Horror Nights this busy. I'm sure it has been, but I don't know if I've ever seen it. This is intense. Like, being in, in first-person view is almost too hard to tell where exactly it is you're going. Halloween Town thing just for coffee. Holy shit, what are they in line for? The ghost rickshaw there, Mexican food. As we are going to go in here, and this is a roller coaster. There's a giant spider. And that was also very, very short. But it was cool. It wasn't horrible, but my God, the line. Look at the lines. Would you to to steal you know Justin Scarred? Would you look at the size of that line for such a short roller coaster? It's kind of wild. And look at the size of this line. Jeez, Louise.
Are you kidding me? Are like this line? It's for a roller coaster. Spire of Shock is the name of this one. Damn, this is going backwards. It's like a reverse Superman. And that's the full ride. And like again. And yeah, look at his thing. I queued for a very long time. Uh, yeah, you did. And you did it for like a roller coaster that honestly. Ain't even. Really that good? Well, again, look at the line. How crowded it is here. This is all for the coaster we just went on. Still for that coaster. I mean, it's got cool decorations. There's cool shit to look at. Oh, by the way, still the line. Still the line. That's where the line starts for the spire, whatever, whatever. A lot of people genuinely happy, though. A lot of decorations everywhere. The park looks and feels... Pretty cool. And now, what I will say is, look at the line for the haunt. F 
Five Nights at Jerry. And this dude is not happy at all. The first actual haunt of the evening. Going up a hill. Slowly. Some cool rain effects and lightning. I'll be curious what happens when we actually get to the house. We enter the property through a graveyard. Smoke and stuff. Up to the front porch now. Chair moving by itself. Windows flapping around, spiders crawling around. Oh, almost dropped right on top of us. Lots of in and out. There's a skeleton on a Chair moving around. Oh my god, it's the little shop of horrors plant. That was cool. Feed me, Seymour. And we're spinning all around trying to get away from the little shop of horrors plant. like a dungeon skeletons going everywhere damn this night is like boiling a skeleton and now we're into like a space room or something it's like twilight zone through the doors And now we're into like a bug room. It's all green with slime. Bugs are everywhere. Slime and bugs. This is what bugs eating alive at HHN 31 is like. I'm in trouble. Damn giant spider. Now it's pitch black. This is trippy. This is kind of like murderous minds from Fright Sanity. The different rings of light. 
Damn, and look at this thing. These witches are fighting whatever this thing is. I don't even know what the hell that thing you would call that thing. But it is a giant set piece they are either conjuring or spelling out. And now we're outside. There are some bats. And I think that is it. That looks like it. Yep. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Five Night at Jerry's. Is gonna get a pretty decent score from me just because of the the set pieces and it was a fairly fairly long ride and this dead ends at five night at Jerry's. Okay. There's the line for <coughs> excuse me. the gnarler. But again, like, look at this. It looks like the aesthetic of the place looks really cool. It's just so crazy crowded here, man. It looks like we got another haunt here. The jailer's den. Cranked up through some cages. And dropping very rapidly. Dang it, we spun around. Moving very fast through this haunt. And we're going to drop down again here. And spin again through a cemetery. Into a foyer. Halloween decorations all over the place. Rats all over the track. And that's it. So this was Jailer's Den nowhere near as good as Five Night at Jerry's. Spooky Mansion. That's just another monstrous line. But look at the look of it. Is it a roller coaster?
It doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe it is a coaster. This is Viper One. Long Q is for this boomerang attraction. Interesting. So there you see Narler. There's Five Night at Jerry's. What is this? The Jailer's Den. We've done that one. It's so another massive queue that we're coming to that looks more like an outdoorsy i mean you can just see this like it's not i don't even want to do this we could just kind of go through the scenes here What is this? The witch's haunt. It's outside. There's very little set pieces. We didn't take the entire time. To see all of it just because we could see all of it from the aerial view that I mean very slow moving and very and there's the witches I mean, that's, that's cool. I'm glad we get to see that. Kind of a semi-cool finale to the thing. But not anything close to what the Five Night at Jerry's was. So they, I mean, there's Witch's Haunt.
Here's the actual park entrance and exit. But again, it looks cool. The general aesthetic of Horror Park may be one of the best that we have come across. The dude is so thirsty, he is single minded. Any guests need a toilet? This is like a walk around haunt. A pumpkin haunt. I mean, this is a this is cool. I don't know why more people aren't doing this. That was cool. Call that pumpkin. We'll call it pumpkin lair. And I'll give it, I'm going to give it a better score, the pumpkin lair walkthrough attraction, than uh, Witch's Brew and Jailer's Den. At least it was original and it looked cool. I actually dig I actually dig that little walkthrough attraction a lot. That's very Halloween. Is this another walkthrough attraction? No, it's a bathroom. But a cool bathroom. Well, like, look at Pumpkin Lair. Like, look how dope that looks. I mean, that's that's Halloween right there. That's pretty pretty dope. Carnival ride here. Lots of food booths that have got it's got like an animatronic graveyard in between the food booths. That's cool. Coaster that doesn't have a mile long line.
And all right, man, we did Horror Park. That was pretty cool. It produced a very high-scoring maze that uh, is not the top maze, but it's definitely in top to uh, place um, around here. And, uh, yeah, I think... Horror Park, that Five Night at Jerry's Maze is a cool maze. Um, long Lines, which thank God this is a virtual one. Again, if you're tuning into this, the video, you know, we are doing uh, Planet Coaster, Roblox, and Real Life Haunt scores this year. So there's going to be winners in each three of those categories for Haunt Season. And this maze here... Uh, or this park here was pretty cool. The general aesthetic was was really cool. I uh, could win and end up winning an award for that. But uh, some of the coasters and whatnot, I'm just like, damn, like the line is so long for what this is. It's crazy to me. Um, but overall, Horror Park, not a bad park. One of the better mazes that we've been through on Planet Coaster, but we do have some heavy hitters left to do. So stay tuned for that. And we will be back with another Planet Coaster episode. Thanks for listening. Hope you're enjoying.